We're leaving. Are you so excited? We're getting out of here. Look, he has his going home outfit on. He's even got his going home hat on. <laughs> it's party hat. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. We're going home. We got good news. I didn't even bring the camera because we weren't even expecting it. I guess we weren't expecting it. It's just unexpected. Oh. So they took the big light off. Right here. Again, I'm vlogging on my phone, so I'm sorry. Little boy's still in there, but they had a big light right here. The, the Mac Daddy. Okay, so next morning, um, last night I was vlogging on my phone, and y'all saw we were extremely happy because it was essentially the lowest his number has kind of gotten with us a little therapy. Uh, it was a 14.4, which is still pretty good jaundice, but better than what it's been. Um, this morning, we were hoping that it dropped even more because it would show that he's kind of declining. Um, he went from 14.4 up to 15.1. So we were hoping that it would keep going down. We were hoping that it would keep going down. It's not terrible news because um, it didn't spike, but it didn't keep going down. <laughs> Nonetheless, um, that was that was with his jaundice blanket, which you can see under him lighting up, and the jaundice light. Um, because it didn't even go up a whole point, they're taking another light off just to see what his body will do on its own. Not on its own, he still has a blanket, but with no headlights. So they took away this one, they've already taken away the big one, so now this is his first time only on the blanket. Honestly, pretty much since we've been here. Yeah, since, it's never just been a blanket. No, pretty much since we've been here, he, which has been almost so nine day, step, days now. It's a step in the right direction. It's, it's been a step nine we've days never now. taken before. Yeah, so we're hopeful, we're confident. We woke up and we had the news and we were a little bummed because we were hoping for like a 13 or 12 or, you know, we're just really waiting for God just to like take it away all at once, but we're trusting this process. We're trusting what's happening. Our little guy's eating, he's growing, he, he's awake right now, and we're so thankful because because there's no light above, he doesn't have to wear his goggles if he doesn't want to. So he's gotta be in here, but at least he can look at us and we can look at him, and he's okay. very happy without the goggles. So tonight will be a really big deal. Like tonight's like the biggest deal. Yeah, tonight's the biggest deal. Tomorrow's like the next biggest deal. <laughs> every, every new test is the next biggest. But, Tonight we'll know if he like jumps a lot with just the blanket or if he just kind of stays in the 15 range, which would be awesome because that would mean they would take the blanket away to see what he would do next. Yeah. If he can stay below 16 tonight, that'd be awesome. If you can even drop with no blanket or with just a blanket, then you would be, oh my gosh. You guys, he's the best baby. I'd be so happy. But you are so easy. The doctors keep saying that usually babies who are in here he's as long like as him scream, scream the whole time. Wild. So you get, you get no swaddle, you're stuck in here, we can't hold you that much. Oh, okay, right, come on. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> he does it for like half a second, then he's like, okay, okay. But we're, we're praying, we're believing, we're trusting. He's gonna be okay. Day 10. Uh, yesterday was a really good day. We're being quiet because he's sleeping and it's just kind of quiet time here in the hospital. But Yesterday was a really good day. Um, they ended up taking all of his lights off for the first time since we've been here because his number dropped to a 14.8 with only one light. Left him overnight and his number shot up from a 14.8 to a 16.8, um, which isn't good. It went up two points overnight. So he's back on the light. We were really excited because we thought we might be going home soon. This doesn't necessarily mean that we aren't going home soon, but it just put us back a few days or more because it means that essentially he's not better and we don't know why. So they're actually having the chief hematologist, right? Which is hematologist, come by and talk to us in like an hour. Like the chief hematologist of like all of Orange County, like the smartest person to come and explain to us what she thinks might be causing this because none of the doctors know. And that's where we're at. How are you? 
Okay. We're tired. My family came in from Florida a few days ago because they had they had these flights for a while to see the baby, and it's sad and unfortunate because they likely won't be able to see the baby, which is honestly it, it's okay. We just want the baby to be so safe and healthy, but at least uh, Evan Posey have some grandparent time and family time in the midst of all this so mm -hmm. that's one pro but um we, we've been going back and forth back and forth back and forth so i can assure you that we're not just leaving the kids at the house with babysitters or with family they just whenever we vlog we happen to pick the camera up here but i'll try to film a little bit at the house through the week so you guys can see the girls and they're doing all right they you're a lot happier once you're outside of this room yeah. i feel like i pick the camera up in this room more often to update you guys and this room is just so it's just so depressing there's no other way to put it mm -hmm. we've kind of explained that in the previous videos so if we always seem sad this is a very sad time but i promise you that that there's little joys in between and whenever we find out good news and whenever we're back home with our healthy kids or even in moments whenever we're holding him he's eating good um it's just really hard so y'all just keep us in your prayers and we'll keep updating you guys and right now we just don't know what's what's gonna happen day 10 Again, so the experience for the NICU has been good news, bad news, good news, bad news, mostly bad, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, yeah. good news. Bad news bad. <laughs> so every time we get good news, we don't necessarily even vlog it because we think bad news is yeah. likely. Yeah. And this is on my phone, so we didn't even come like preparing to film anything. But we got good news. He's low, and the doctors and nurses want to take him off the lights completely again. This happened in the past. We shot back up. But we're feeling... We're feeling different this time. Yeah. And he's looking different. He he's looks different. He's, he's really good. awake. He's gaining weight. He's alert. I mean... Because the lights kind of dehydrate him and make him sleepy, I feel like, so... But because he's been so up and down, he has to be steady for 48 hours. It's Wednesday at 11 a.m. So if he's steady, we can go home Friday before noon, which will be a full two weeks in the NICU. But mm -hmm. we thought that we were going to be here much longer, and we could be. He could shoot back up. We know that but it's a good moment right now. But two weeks in the NICU is long enough. And this is my first skin on skin with him since he's been born, since he was hours old. So this is very special because whenever he's in that bed with the lights on, we don't need to do this. Hey, can you show everybody? Can you show everybody your cute little hat? Look at your little hat. See, I'm a stud. I'm a stud. They even said that we can put him in an outfit. Like, he hasn't had an outfit on since we've been here. Hey, so Zealand, we can put you in a little outfit. Zealand. You're smiling earlier. Oh, don't you smile. Don't you smile, buddy. But yeah, guys, guys, we get to put him like a real outfit. So we're going to put him in a real outfit. But before we did that one, but so I guess I'm just going to ask you that. It's heaven. It's heaven. And it's so sad because my family flew over Florida to see him. But they leave tomorrow, likely. We might extend their flights, might not, but they're gonna leave tomorrow. And he is possibly on Friday the next day. day. <laughs> but it's okay. As long as we get a healthy baby, that's all that we could have asked for. Her. I guess he looks so cute on you. Oh, Jesus, please help his numbers be low tonight so he can stay and not have to go back on lights. Oh, Evelyn and Posey want to see you so bad. I'm assuming that you guys already know this, but because of. COVID and just Nick here in general. Everybody and Posey haven't seen him since we've been here. Mm -hmm. So they haven't seen him in about two weeks. So if and when we can bring him home, it's pretty much like we're bringing him home for the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's probably gonna be bigger and stuff too. Definitely. Oh. Looks so cute in me right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he looks literally like a fake baby doll. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting ready to walk into the hospital, swap out with Savannah. Savannah's definitely stayed so many more nights than me at the hospital, but I think tonight could be the last night 
at the NICU. Tomorrow marks two full weeks, so I want Savannah to get home, get some good sleep, because if she comes back with this baby, one, she hasn't been sleeping too good at the NICU, um, the not most comfortable couch, and two, um, if we can bring our baby home, then she's gonna be super busy up through a lot of the nights, breastfeeding, all that. Um, so I'm gonna go and exchange with Savannah, and hopefully this is our last night here. This is the, the first time I've been excited walking into the hospital because I think it might be my last time walking into the hospital. So fingers crossed, praying hard, believing big that we're bringing our baby Z home in the morning. The test will tell all, so we're taking a big test in the morning and we'll see what his, his numbers are. So. This could be our last night here if you got good numbers in the morning. I believe in you. You have so many people praying for you, buddy. You can do this. You do look pretty yellow, but they said that's okay. So it's the morning and we got our test results and they weren't the best, but they're good enough to go home. So we're going home today, and Savannah doesn't know yet. Savannah's gonna be here any minute. He's hungry, and we just found out, so I get to tell her that we're going home. We're so excited. Again, his numbers aren't the best, we gotta do a lot of follow-up appointments, and we still don't know what's wrong with this guy, but we get to take him home, so that's, that's major improvements. Mama's gonna be so excited. We're leaving. Are you so excited? We're getting out of here. Look, he has his going home outfit on. He's even got his going home hat on. <laughs> his party hat. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. Um, we'll explain a lot more after we get home and show the girls him and everything, but just kind of what's going on. We've already scheduled um, appointments to make because still, honestly, I have no idea what's causing this and something is causing it. Um, and it's still happening. It's, it's still happening. His levels right are now. still high, but not high enough to where he needs to be in the NICU. And because he's two weeks older, his body's more developed and a lot goes into it. But um, all in all, he gets to go home. We got follow up appointments. And they were inter interested to find out what this is exactly. We're still waiting on like what is a hemolytic panel test yeah. thing. So, like, so much stuff. But um, all in all, he's, he's doing pretty good and we get to take him home. So. Girls are gonna be so excited. Okay, he's in. Time to go home to the girls. He did it. We didn't do anything. He did it. You did it. I'm taking that off because it's hot. It is a little warm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's like a dream. We even talked about this day. And it was a full two weeks, but honestly, guys, it felt like 15 years. The longest two weeks of our life. This is the best day. And I know that we're being dramatic, but it's okay. No, we're not dramatic. This is the best day of my entire life. Huh. We love you, Z. Aww. We're so excited to bring you home. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! We made it through NICU. And we love each other even more. I think. I think. <laughs> I love you. I love you. All right. And we actually have separate cars because we've been driving <laughs> back and forth and the kids and driving all around town. So, see you at the house, honey. See you. Love you. So I just want to say the biggest thank you in the world right now before we get home with the girls and things get fun and crazy to all of the nurses, all of the doctors, all of the healthcare workers. You guys sacrifice everything to help people like us and we cannot express our gratitude enough and we are going to make it a mission of ours to help people and families who have been through um, NICU experiences, sick kid experiences. Our heart breaks with you guys. We love you guys. We're praying alongside you guys and we are going to find a way to help out more than just 
than just words. Um, that's Savannah right there, heading home. I'm gonna follow her. Um, but seriously, we can't thank all of our doctors and nurses. We had the best team in the world around us. And all of you guys, all of our friends, all of our family, people who we haven't been able to get back to who've been praying for us, encouraging us, praying for Zealand every step of the way. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We love you guys, seriously, we love you so, so much. And we're just on cloud nine. We're on cloud 2000 right now that we get to a home. So we're going home. You so happy? Yeah. You're bringing your baby home. This is all you talked about for the past literally 14 days straight. Don't make me cry. Baby, look, you're walking in with your baby. Aww, <laughs> you're crying. <laughs> you got your baby. Are you so happy? He's okay. Oh, you okay? <laughs> Aww, you're so cute. Are you just so happy? Aww. Okay, well, they're waiting. Okay. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Hello? It feels like we just did this two weeks ago. <laughs> it's almost even more exciting this time. Hey, look, we, we got a baby. The first kiss was a kiss from. It was from the dog. Yeah, he's back home. Yes. It's your brother. Yeah. Oh, it's him. Him. Aww. Aww. Give him a kiss on his head. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my oh, 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 He does look like a little man. Oh, that big girl, because she has been saying dad, 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 dad. Oh, oh so you want dad? Oh yeah. You got the hat. Look at that little guy. Oh, he wants to put his hat. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Bear. Like, yeah, is there a bear on there? Yeah. 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 Well, Do you like the bear? His hat lasts a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You can have it. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna let Sissy hold him. This is, yeah. this is <laughs> these grandparents' first time seeing them. Yeah. <laughs> Gigi at least got to see them I did. two weeks ago. <laughs> so the family that we got is we got both my parents and then two of my siblings. You guys are familiar that I have a lot of siblings, but we just have <laughs> oh, half, the, half the siblings. <laughs> we'll bring them all. Honestly, less than half. <laughs> see, look, there you go, baby. Oh, you're so tiny. That was totally worth the wait. <laughs> Hey, good thing oh. we extended y'all's flights. I'm so glad. Thank you. Yeah. We weren't yeah. sure. Oh, let me take a picture. I'll send it to you. Okay. Oh, I was gonna smile too. That's funny. <laughs> well, no, no more. Thank you. First grandson. Oh, give him a kiss. Oh. <laughs> she loves to get a hat. You want to give him a kiss? Trying to get a. She really wants to give the baby a kiss. A picture with him. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Oh. Stop. Be gentle. Yeah. Okay, give him yeah. one more kiss. One more kiss. Oh, oh and this is whenever she starts getting a little, a little kooky. I'm done. I'm okay. out of here. I got something. Well, hey, Maybe. you tried. We technically had a night at home with him. We had one night. Two weeks ago, but hopefully this is our first night. Where Forever. We, yeah. <laughs> Where we don't have to go back to a hospital in Nikki. His umbilical cord fell off in there. Aww. Little baby. We gotta give him his first bath at the house. He's up to eight pounds. Yeah, I think he's like almost eight pounds. Big Crazy. boy. It's like a dream come true. Who's more happy? So happy. Who's more happy to be home? You or Everly? Because Everly <laughs> misses you so home. much. Yeah. <laughs> I are you so happy that Mama and Zealand are home? Are you happy that I'm home? It's probably good to have my family in town to kind of keep you occupied. But it just wasn't the same, you know? Like we weren't together all day long and I wasn't here every single night. You didn't see Zealand for two weeks. I didn't see him at all though. We did a really good job though. Like figuring the whole thing out, you know? 
tried our best. I felt like I wasn't doing a good job, but now looking back at it, we did a good job. Yeah. We did our best. Nothing's perfect, but... Yeah.